Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and this video is going to be dedicated to rotary engines. Now sometime back I made a video about car engines and I said that rotary engines would be excluded from that video and would stay for another time. Well that time is finally here and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys how rotary engines work. So this video will be broken down into three parts. The parts of a rotary engine, how a rotary engine works, and the pros and cons of having a rotary engine. So let's begin. Before I get into any specifics, I just quickly want to explain what a rotary engine is and where it came from. So the rotary engine was invented by Felix Wankel and it was used in Mazda vehicles a couple decades ago. Later on, the design was eventually improved, but unfortunately it was killed off due to its high emissions and due to the fact that it burned oil. But unlike a piston engine, a rotary engine uses a rotor to create combustion. The parts of a rotary engine are very minimal and this is one of its benefits over a piston engine but we'll get into that later. This engine has a housing and within the housing there's a triangular rotor and the centric shaft. Interestingly enough, just like a piston engine, this engine uses four strokes. So you have an intake, compression, power and exhaust strokes. As this rotor turns, it sucks in the air fuel mixture and that air fuel mixture later on gets compressed as the rotor turns and these two spark plugs would ignite the fuel on both ends therefore pushing the motor. Then those exhaust gases would get pushed out through the outlet port. These little pieces are the apex seals and this is what would help the engine create compression and this is what seals a triangular rotor against the housing. These holes are the holes in which the coolant will flow through in order to cool down the housing. Pretty much the entire inside of this housing is the combustion chamber except this circular middle piece. And this uh, stationary gear is the gear in which the triangular rotor will rotate on. So now we're going to take a look on how a rotary engine works and I have to admit it's pretty cool and unlike a piston engine, this engine does not use any valve trains or timing belts. It does everything through this big triangular rotor. So let's take a look. So as this rotor turns, it sucks in the air fuel mixture through the intake. Then it compresses that air fuel mixture and later on it's ignited using these two spark plugs and those exhaust gases are pushed out through the exhaust port and this four cycle process repeats over and over and over again. Finally, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of a rotary engine. So starting with the pros, rotary engines are much more simpler than piston engines. They don't have any valve trains or timing belts or any of that. So they're very simple. The next thing is that they have no reciprocating mass. This allows them to rev much more freely. So they could rev upwards to 9,000 RPM, unlike a regular engine with a piston that could rev up to six or 5,000 RPMs. Also, because rotary engines are very small and light, this means that they are very easy to implement and can fit into all sorts of cars. And because they're light, this means that the car will handle better because it has less weight. Now the power delivery of rotary engines are very good and because of the way the rotor turns, the power delivery is immediate. So the cons include fuel economy. Now the problem with rotary engines are that compared to piston engines, they have a much lower compression ratio. So this means that the fuel is not burned as much and therefore it gets worse fuel economy because there's a lot of unburned fuel. Now the next thing that this affects is the emissions. Because there's a lot of unburned fuel, that unburned fuel leaving the engine is very hazardous for the environment. Also, the apex seals for rotary engines tend to wear out much faster than piston rings and this means that they can lose compression and when they lose compression, you lose power. And finally, rotary engines are notorious for burning oil. Now, unlike a piston engine that has oil holes and the oil circulates through the engine through an oil system, this engine does not have any of that. The oil gets into the combustion chamber and gets burned. So when that oil gets burned, it can typically uh, clog up some of the holes, it could ruin the apex seals, it can also make the emissions much worse. And over time, you're going to need to add oil in order to keep the engine going. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Definitely check out my other video on piston engines if you haven't seen it. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. More videos are to come, and I'll see you guys in the next one.